I'm a shite bag, and I've made peace with that. But there's some heroic deeds you hear about, and you can't help but think to yourself, what if I wasn't cursed with this shite baggery? Stories like this one. The back of this head can be found in a super religious part of Pakistan, and it belongs to one brave son of a gun who was asked by his cleric in a packed mosque. Whoever doesn't believe in the teachings of the Holy Prophet, raise your hand. So I did. How brave did But by mistake. Then I realised I was being accused of blasphemy, so I returned home. Yeah, good idea. Get home, clear your head. Chopped off my hand, put it on a tray and showed it to the Imam. Now the cleric from the mosque is on terrorism charges for incitement to violence. And like me, you might be really worried about this boy. Nah, nah. He has no regrets, as he went on to say. Why should I feel the pain or regret for cutting off the hand that was raised against the Holy Prophet? And on top of that, due to this great sacrifice, he's become a bit of a local celebrity, with people from nearby villages travelling through just to meet this boy and maybe even get a wee picture. Because why not? We can all laugh at this, but in the end, I think it just goes to highlight another case of inequality and social injustice. The hand gets chopped off. The ears, which misheard in the first place, get away scot-free. Bullshit. This is like making a murderer all over again. I'm sick of it. Get 